Each complex number below is given in one of the three rectangular, polar, trigonometric, or exponential forms. Identify the form of these complex numbers and write them in the other three forms. If rounding, keep three significant digits. I'll start with example A. In this example, our complex number, which I call by Z, is equal to minus 5 plus J2. This is in rectangular form. All complex numbers in rectangular form look like x plus j y, a real number plus j times another real number. To write down this complex number in polar and other forms, I need to understand in which quadrant z falls. In order to understand that, I note that if this is the complex plane, minus 5 plus j2 falls in the second quadrant. Now this vector can also be represented by its length and the angle theta it makes with the positive x direction. To find r, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. r becomes root of minus 5 squared plus 2 squared. This is equal to root 29. To find theta, I note that tangent of theta, which is always equal to y over x, becomes 2 over minus 5 here. If I use my calculator, theta turns out to be minus 21.8 degrees. But this angle is in the fourth quadrant. To find the right angle, which is in the second quadrant, I need to add 180 degrees to what I find from the calculator. This is equal to 158 degrees. The polar form of Z is R angle theta, which becomes root 29 with the angle 158 degrees. The trigonometric form of Z is R cos theta plus J R sine theta. If I sub the values of R and theta, I would get root 29 cos of 158 degrees plus J root 29 sine of 158 degrees. And this is the trigonometric form of z. Now to write down the exponential form of z, we need to have the angle theta in radians. 158 degrees is 158 degrees times pi radian over 180 degrees. Pi over 180 degrees is equal to 1 and it is the conversion factor used to convert degrees into radians. If we use our calculator, this becomes approximately 2.76 radians. Therefore, the exponential form of z, which is r, e to the power of j theta becomes root 29 e to the power of j 2.76. The exponential form is usually not used in electronics. The other three forms are common in electronics. The symbol j equal to root minus 1 is particularly used in electronics. In other fields, 
people use i equal to root minus 1. Moreover, they put i after the number rather than before the number. For example, the z in our problem would be written as root 29 e to the power of 2.76i. In our examples, however, I am going to use the notation which is used in electronics. That is, I am going to use j in all the forms, including the exponential form, to remain consistent with the other three forms. Now, let's look at example b. The number z is given by 12 angle minus 20.1 degrees. This complex number is in the polar form. And r is equal to 12 and theta is equal to minus 20.1 degrees. Once we have the polar form, it is very easy to write the trigonometric form. Which is z is equal to r cos theta plus j r sine theta, which is in our example 12 cos of minus 20.1 degrees plus j 12 sine of minus 20.1 degrees. In order to find the rectangular form, we need to simplify the z we found for the trigonometric form. And we will find for 12 cosine of minus 20.1 degrees, 11.3 plus j for 12 sine minus 20.1 degrees minus 4.12, which we can simplify to 11.3 minus j 4.12. To find the exponential form, we need to convert theta, which is minus 20.1 degrees, into radians. Therefore, we multiply it by the proper conversion factor, which is pi over 180 degrees. And this becomes approximately minus 0.351 radians. The exponential form of z, which is r e to the power of j theta, becomes 12 e to the power of minus j 0.351. Let's now look at example c. z in this example is equal to 3 cos 23 degrees plus j 3 sine of 23 degrees. This number is in the trigonometric form. And in this example, r is equal to 3 and theta is equal to 23 degrees. Therefore, the polar form is r angle theta, which becomes 3 angle 23 degrees. To find the rectangular form, we simplify the trigonometric form, and we get 2.76 plus j 1.17. To write the exponential form, we need to convert theta into radians first. 
theta is equal to 23 degrees, which if we multiply by the proper conversion factor, it becomes approximately 0 0.401 radians. The exponential form, which is r e to the power of j theta, becomes 3 e to the power of j point 0.401. And the last example involves a complex number which is given in exponential form. 12 e to the power of j pi over 3. We can see that r is 12 and theta is pi by 3 radians in this example. The polar form, which is r angle theta, becomes 12 angle pi by 3. The trigonometric form, which is z is equal to r cos theta plus j r sin theta, becomes 12 cos of pi by 3 plus j 12 sin of pi by 3. To find the rectangular form, we need to simplify the trigonometric form. Cos pi by 3 is 1 half and sine pi by 3 is root 3 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 plus j. 12 and 2 cancel and you would have 6 root 3. The rectangular form of z is therefore 6 plus j 6 root 3.